This is Ned. He's been with us for a bit over a month. It's a daily routine, but I do it every Saturday um, for the past 27 months. We start off up here every morning and then we work our way down to cat quarantine. It's a, it's a good job. Like the people are awesome to work with. Well, I want to get into veterinary nursing. So I started this um, as a school project and I've just kept at it ever since. I've wanted to be like be a veterinarian ever since I was seven. So it's been a, I don't know, a lifelong dream pretty much. As a cattery volunteer, um, like Rachel, Judy's been involved just cleaning up the pans, helping the staff, um, also socialising the animals and things like that. So just making sure that the animals have enough food and water that they're kept in a clean environment and also helping the staff that we have here too. In here is the main area of cat quarantine. Um, in the next room we have um, the kitten quarantine. The day goes pretty quick as well when you're constantly moving. We tick that sheet and, but, um, so it's like whether it's happy or active or vocal or whatnot. We do get the occasional cat that unfortunately doesn't pass. We just lay a couple of pieces of newspaper down, a fresh litter tray, and then your fresh water. Volunteers are very important to our organisation. Without volunteers, we wouldn't be able to do simple things um, such as cleaning the pans. Obviously, we've got staff as well, but volunteers play a big role in helping the staff and also the animals that we have here. Even socialising the animals as well. So, yeah, we love volunteers here and, um, you know, definitely would like more as well. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the animals don't have homes to go to, I guess you kind of feel sorry for them and I don't know, it's just rewarding. So I'll be continuing it for a fair few more years. If you have a love for animals, get into it. There's no use sitting around, just get up and do it.